Hi, I'm Aparna Ganesh and you're welcome to our series Yoga and You where you guys have been sending us the questions and I've been promptly bringing them to Hansa ji. Thank you so much. He's the director of uh, the Yoga Institute. And uh, Hansa ji, uh, there are big words which are being used. Uh, sometimes people don't even understand the meaning really. So when people get into a situation, they say, I'm going to be more mindful, you know. Mm -hmm. Although one has known that mindfulness is something which is to be a practice of every day. Can you please help understand the basic meaning of the term mindfulness? Aparna, since you have used the word mindful, let me tell you, when you enter the yoga institute, that small little gate, we have written there, please close the door, mindfulness is yoga. Yeah. Whatever you are doing, see that your mind is present there and you do. Uh, you see, human mind is very intelligent mind, highly developed mind. So that mind is going anywhere and everywhere. It doesn't stay at one place. That's the whole problem with us because we are highly developed mind. Animal mind is simple. When an animal, is hungry, animal goes in search for food and mind doesn't go anywhere else because it's hungry. So the need is there. Otherwise, he will not survive. The mind is focused on that. Totally yeah. focused. Concentration is perfected animals. Natural. But human, human needs are so many. And their needs are so many. And not that need like animal birth or death type. If you can't eat food, for you will be struggling. Nothing like that in human life. And so, mind goes anywhere and everywhere. Usually what happens is when we suffer thoroughly, thoroughly well in life, then we think of changing. Till then we have that laziness in us. Dullness is us. Chalta hai. Let it be. Kya difference does it make? That type of a personality, yoga would never accept. Yoga would see to it that if you are doing, you do it very well. Under pain and suffering, there is some little resolution in mind that now you will not do this, you will do this. Sometimes person is talking, talking and, and talks something which is not so good and then she realizes or he realizes that I should not have spoken this. Well, so now you become mindful. Is it required to speak? Then only open your mouth, otherwise don't open. This little thinking has to go deeper into us. So this way we become little alert and aware. Mindfulness means awareness. So first of all form a habit that whatever you are doing, you see to it that you, your mind is there with you mm. when you are doing anything. Let it be brushing your teeth or eating your food or talking to each other or doing anything or even resting, sleeping. Your mind should be there with you while sleeping. Completely present to the moment. Yes. So you have come to the point that you learn to be in present moment mm. and that will help you. Uh, to do your job well. So unless you are mindful, you will not be able to do any work well in life. This habit, where your body is, your mind should be. Where your mind is, your emotion should be. Where your emotions are, your faith should be. Faith means confidence, mm. willpower, that should be. Then you do your work. So. Either you are doing work mechanically without mind or mind is there but emotions are not there. You do it very in a dry way like machine. Now everything should be present, body, mind, emotion and faith. All these four things together and you are working. That is mindfulness. So we should form such habit. Let's do few things but do it systematically very well. So we have one technique in yoga. We always say that at night before going to bed, just reflect. How did you spend your day? You should know how did you spend your day and what did you do? So right from till now, earlier, one hour before, what did you do? Still before, what did you do? Till your morning when you got up. And then you realize there are certain things which you don't even remember. I know one boy, he came to me. He had definitely, he was wearing something else. In the morning, he was wearing something else. But he is telling me, Ansaji, I don't know whether I have taken bath or not. Mind is not there <laughs> only while taking bath, while eating food, while going here and there. That has That is the biggest problem now. Now the mind has become so mechanical with all these machines and gadgets in our hand. That little toy which we have always, the computer and the phone, mobile phone. 
that we are not using our mind. Everything is used by the machine. An autopilot mode. That autopilot mode. That is very wrong when it comes to self-development. See to it that you are not so much dependent on anything, but dependent on yourself. So be very, very clear. When mind is with you, you will never go to past. You will rather remain in present. From past you learn. History is for learning. You, the history of anything, you just learn from that. Learn. Don't remain in past. Remaining in past means you are, your progress is going down. As far as future is concerned, don't think about it. Past will always bring tears in your eyes. And future will always bring fear in your eyes. <laughs> what will happen? What will fear happen? No. <laughs> Remain in present. That will bring cheer Aha. in your okay. life. <laughs> there are four things which you are supposed to do in a day. Mm. One is doing your duty. All your responsibilities and duties you must do. Second is earning money, that is your duty. Third is rest, recreation, hobbies, equally important, that you should do. And fourth is some selfless work, something for others. And so these are four types of work, so where your spiritual growth will occur. Mm. So these four types of things you should do, so become mindful. Have I done all these four things? No, then plan your day, next day better and do it better. So try and live life like that and it would be beautiful. That's so lovely, Hansa Ji. So let's keep the tear and the fear away and let's stick to cheer. Let's be in the present moment, like Hansa Ji has said, and we will be mindful, which I think affects every aspect of our life. So cheers to cheer. Yeah, Hansa Ji. <laughs> Thank you.